Do you all like games? Let's play a guessing game. You get to look at these cars right here and guess which one of these is mine. Could it be the Toyota Spyder? Or could it be the Crowd Plow 2000? Or could it be the Mini Beamer? Or could it be the Toyota Calorina? No, a lot of you have already guessed it. And uh, for those of you who guessed a GTR, you're wrong. Today has been a long time coming. If you watch my Finally Friday rambles, you've already known about this car. You know, this is the car I've been saving up for, for, well, it's been over six months, I know that, but it's been a long time. It hasn't sunk in that it's mine. I'm happy that it's mine, but like, that's, that's, that can't be my car. Nah. So, it has not all the carbon fiber options, but most of them, the ones that matter. It's got the door handles, it's got the cockpit pit, it's got the foot rests, and most importantly, it has the carbon fiber engine bay. Okay, I'm done. This was so important to me. Do you know how hard it was to get this car? First of all, there are only ever maybe 15 V10 manuals available for sale in the country at a time. Getting the carbon fiber and everything that I really, really wanted took me a long time. Saving up took a long time, but this is the car. This is the car that I wanted. Look at it. It's a legit supercar. I haven't done much, but I did one thing because I couldn't wait, and that was I put a front and rear dash cam in here. Let's see if I can see it. So up in there behind the mirror, there's a dash cam. The cable sloppily runs along there goes to rear camera there. I have cameras on everything, on my bikes, in my apartment, in my Jeep, anything that could save me to have it there, I have it there. So, janky foam mount that kind of works. I actually bought a water bottle to fit in here. Um, and then this is a Bluetooth module for the music and a USB hub and it's a little sloppy, but like it makes the car a uh, lot more enjoyable. That's all I've done, but I have a whole list of mods that I'm gonna do this car. But let's 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 do that part later. I put a GoPro up in there, so uh, let me drive it. We are gonna get on the highway, and we're gonna be so responsible that we are going to accelerate when the light is green. Just waiting for an open stretch of road. Just waiting. Just waiting for an open stretch. You really need the road to be flatter than that. Jeez, Lou, it feels like it's gonna take off. Tunnel, tunnel. Okay, ready, ready for this? Uh, tunnels, man, tunnels. I bought this car a little while ago. I got it in Virginia from a dealer, so that was less than an hour away, which is really pretty fortunate that I was able to find one so close because over the months waiting to get this car, I thought for sure that it was gonna be have to be delivered to me from someplace, but I mean, this one worked out. Oh, do I dare? Do I dare? I, I do a little bit. It's like being on a bike, only we're not on a bike. <laughs> Slow down, Mamma Jamma, dang it! He's been tailgating me the whole way, and as I'm just getting over with my turn signal, I'm like a good piggy, he's just up on my butt. Which is one reason why having that 
camera makes you feel so much better. Oh, Bobby, here we go. Oh, no, car just did a U-turn into my lane, so never mind. I'll point this out in a bit. There's something going on with the back of my car. I'll, I'll make sure I show that before I uh, get back home. But yeah, so you can see right here, this is a wire from the camera, uh, rear camera that goes to the back. So the, the cables aren't like professionally installed. They're just kind of running along. And it does the job for now. Like I said, it was really important for me to make sure that I had cameras running. Later, I'll get someone to actually remove like the liner and put it in correctly or something. But until then, that. All right, so one day when I was walking back out to my new supercar, I noticed something on the back. I was like, huh, that looks weird. I was walking up to it and I was like, huh, that doesn't look normal. It looks like a big old piece of plastic is just missing because I can see like the back of the back of that. I was like, it's very unlikely that it just fell off. That's very unlikely. More likely someone just took it. So I, I checked the uh, dealer photos with them and just to make sure that was actually there when I bought it. And it was there when I bought it. So after I bought it, it went missing. Most likely it was stolen and that sucks. That happened to my Jeep too. I had a drop hitch on there that was also stolen. So yeah, that's a thing. So that sucks, but oh well. I bought another one to replace it. It's not too bad, but uh, that happened. So that sucks. And I was just like, since this is the last time we're gonna see it before I get in it and go home. I'm gonna briefly just like visually go over with it and point out what mods I want to do. We'll talk about this later, but just so you kind of visualize. First of all, a wrap, different wheels, change that grill, basically remove all the chrome, so redo the badges, remove that grill. Um, I think that's it for the outside, except for carbon fiber wing to match the blades. And, and then exhaust, and with an exhaust, I'd like to get carbon fiber tips or something to kind of get rid of that chrome. And that's about it for the outside. Yeah, but just visualize that. That's what it's gonna look like, and it'll sound louder. I don't wanna do too much of this car, but let's talk about that when I get home. Since the engine is super warm, and since I don't know if you'll get a chance to hear this again, because I don't know when the aftermarket exhaust is going on, let me let you listen to the stock Audi R8 V10. fun to get all nuts and just draw stuff like a conspiracy theory, but literally just write out and show you some mods because there's a specific issue with modding this car that I need to address, but I thought it'd be fun to use the whiteboard. I have the itemized list for all this stuff here, but I'm gonna try to make this visual. Again, not that any of this is necessary, but let's start by drawing, trying, trying is the key word, trying to draw a car right here. Okay, it's still quite a lot of imagination on your part, but imagine. Yeah, this is so bad. Imagine that is an Audi R8, right? right? Just, just, or don't. Here's the thing with the car. First thing, customize it to make it look and sound good, but with all the mods in mind, you have to consider resale value. Why? Because I don't intend to keep this car forever. Eventually, I will sell it, and the reason for that is because I like to think of this as my step, like stepping stone into cars. So I'd like to keep this for a while, save up, sell this one and get a better car and hopefully potentially continue up. It's kind of like what I did with bikes for a while. So this is the first one. So that means don't put a whole bunch of mods that are permanent and stuff because the general knowledge with mods and vehicles is mods don't add value to the car. They only add value to you. So any money that goes into mods, I'm never gonna see again, potentially. That's how I have to think about it. So I already mentioned the first thing I want to do with this car is wrap it because that makes it unique. It protects the paint. It's not permanent. And I already know exactly what kind of wrap I want to do. Let me try to pull up a picture for you so there's no reason to make you wait. So I've been playing Forza Horizon 4 a lot and I've been driving an R8 in that game for a long time. Those of you who watched me on Twitch already knew about this car, I think. But um, here's a design I did in the game that more or less is what I want to do to this car. That's a design I made. I call it Splinter Camo, but all it is is three shades of black and a little bit of red. It's all matte. So in the game, that's the darkest blacks I could get. 
but in real life it'll be darker than that. So uh, something like that. It doesn't have to look exactly like this, but generally like this. This is a different car I found online and it has a very similar pattern to what I want. So he actually has uh, black, gray, and white. We can call those three shades of black, three grayscale, and a little bit of that neon yellow green color. So that, that kind of design like up on the, on the top of the car. So jaggedness like that. That's exactly what I want on this car. I want a small carbon fiber wing, like about that size for a couple reasons. Uh, the wing I want is the one that comes on the, I believe the GT version. So it's a high GT carbon fiber style wing. And when I sell the car, I'll leave it on the car because it doesn't diminish value. It's an actual R8 wing, it's not an aftermarket wing. Now, this is why I really wanted to put this on the board for. Okay, so I thought about doing, there's, there's wings that are like this big. I thought about doing a wing that would be like, like that big. And I, I'm, I like that, I think that's cool. But if you do that, you do wrap, and if you have like, for example, a straight pipe, so you got, well, like for example, just to help you understand, like I can't reach with this thing. Imagine you had a, like a, a bumper delete, and then you had a huge <laughs> a wing coming off the back, and then the wheels are freaking, how big are the wheels? Uh, 20, 20 inches, <laughs> so they're just, they're like as big as the tire, right? So there's no tire. I personally think that if you did too much of that, it could be perceived as obnoxious, and this is what I want to do on the border. So say you do like a wing on the car, and you fill it up like this much. This is how, this is how much your car is, it's whatever. If you put uh, that and some wheels, it's neat. You do that in a wrap, you got fun. You do that and then 20 inch wheels or 22 inch wheels, it gets, rice is just a word thrown, they're douchey. Then you got like a wide body kit. Obnoxious is a straight pipe. Pretentious is a straight pipe. Every mod possible that's obnoxious and you can't drive the thing well. You cut people off in traffic, you, you, you just, you, you throttle it all the time, you don't drive it with any kind of limitations, you're pretentious. I don't know, those are just arbitrary words I threw out there. My quandary has been trying to be somewhere in the middle where it's respectable, where you got enough mods to go, oh this is cool, I call that fun, it's a fun car. Along with changing the look of the car, you gotta do a wing. We're gonna do wheels. I'm not planning to change the wheel size. I'm literally just getting black, matte black wheels. I do plan to do performance mods last. And those things might be, I'm not gonna write it down. Those things might be uh, a flash, maybe uh, cold air intake or air filters. Um, and then once those parts are in with the exhaust, then a custom tune on the dyno or something. But that's, that's last down the line for me. So let's talk about this really quick. It's gonna get wrapped first, that's the most important thing. Uh, and when that happens, I'm gonna do the grill and the badges, and I'll probably get the wing on there too, I'm not sure. Um, but then the wheels uh, will come after all of that because the wheels and the tires are gonna be kind of expensive, so those will come after. What I kind of have a question about is the exhaust, and immediately I went, well you can't do a straight pipe, because with all this looking kind of funky, you put a straight pipe on there, it gets to it gets too much. Um, and the exhaust I was looking at is a Eurowise resonated exhaust, so it definitely sounds louder and better, um, but it's not obnoxious. And one thing about the exhaust, I don't. I mean, I would love to have an expensive like a Pokrovich or or Army Trick, some crazy six thousand dollar exhaust, but I'm not going to do that because. That's money I probably won't see again if it goes into this car. So I'm budgeting that way down. And so that kind of puts me with two options. There's a Eurowise resonated exhaust, which would be fine. But then Rev9 has a stainless steel decat pipe, which is basically a straight pipe. I don't know what I'm gonna call that, but it's really close to a straight pipe for I think it's a thousand or less, which makes me go, hmm, because the straight pipe is called a straight pipe. The Rev9, the decat exhaust, is less than half than the Eurowide, so it's like, eh. I'm leaning on the Rev9, I just kind of worry. I kind of worry that's gonna put it up here to douchey. Like, I imagine you're pulling into Starbucks like a douche, 
But if you pull in nicely, and this is something I wanted to talk about over here, if you pull in nicely, you don't rev it, you don't spin out, you just drive like a nice person, you get some marks off of this meter, and then you're kind of cool again. And that's what me and my friend were philosophizing about, philosophizing. He made a really good observation. He said, I think the driver says more about the car than the car does. And what he was saying is that you could have a car that has every mod possible, multi-thousand dollar wide body kit and all the accessories and it's got like 800 horsepower, whatever, you've done everything to it. But if you drive it like a douche and you cut everybody off and you speed and you run lights, it makes, when you, your perception of that car from a distance becomes eh. At least that's my, that's how I think it is. But if you had that car and you drove it nice or with skill, then you get, okay, cool points. So it's not so much about the Mazda as it is about the driving. I like to think I'm not a crap driver. So because of my intention to not drive like a douche, I think that might afford me the ability to put on an obnoxious, a loud exhaust. It could be louder. I don't want as loud as possible because I'm not making this car necessarily to look for attention. It's an R8, it gets looks anyway. I'm doing it because I want to personally like the way it looks and sounds. So this, okay, we got this, we figured that out. Just, just, just connect dots and, okay, I think, I think we got it. <laughs> look at what I'm working with, my toolbox and a, a box so I could have the camera <laughs> to look and I gotta get my bikes out of the way. Look at it, okay, no, the bikes are awesome. Specifically that one, but that's what this video is about. So finally Friday is for it. So uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching and thank you for looking at the good news and I'm excited to get stuff done in this car. Again, doesn't feel like my car yet, but like when it gets wrapped and when it looks like the car I've been envisioning for months, it will be like, anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Happy Supercar Saturday, bye.